always has to be greater than Planck's constant. So it's a fundamental property of the universe. And there are different ways of thinking about it. Uh, Planck first introduced it in the context of the, the frequency or the wavelength of light emitted from hot objects. Uh, photons. What's the energy of a photon? A packet of light. It's Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency. So it's a deep property of nature. Those three numbers, those three things, the speed of light, strength of gravity, and Planck's constant, allow you to define um, some distances, a particular distance called the Planck length. I want to do it by reading it off something because I don't carry all these numbers around in my head. It would be pointless to do that because you can look them up. So I could take Planck's constant, multiply it by the strength of gravity and divide it by uh, the cube of the speed of light and then take the square root of the whole thing. So it's, it's hg divided by c cubed square root. You'll find that that has if you put those things in, in 